Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one is on how to add event to Office 365 Calendar. Now, this is actually, uh, I use the web app one, so the online version of uh, the calendar. So I'm going to show you how to do that on here through that system. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Office 365 website, and that's what I'm going to do here. I go through portal.office, but however you get here, as long as you get to this screen, you're good. Um, then we want to go to, when you're on here, you want to go to the Outlook because we want to go to the email, Outlook email. And then when this opens up, I'll show you where the calendar is hiding. You probably already know where it is, but it's thinking about it. And then right here, okay, now our, our email is opened up. Now if you looked to the left side at the very bottom, you'll see the little calendar icon. Click on that. And now we'll be on the Outlook 365 calendar. Now, there's two ways to add an event to your calendar. Um, the first and easiest way, I think, is um, going up to this left ca side calendar and clicking on the date you want to do the um, whatever you're going to do, like vacation or whatever. Click on the one you want to choose. So click on the date and then go click new event. And what new event does is opens up this screen which is where you're going to put all the information about the time you're taking off or the event that is coming up. But there's another way to get to this screen if you want to make it a little harder. <laughs> so you do this, you get out of that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to choose one of these days on the big part of the calendar. So I'm going to choose the 27th. You, cl you right click on that one. Actually, you left click on that one. And then click on it again. And then it opens this little tiny screen. Now this is a quick calendar event, adding events to your calendar. So you can fill out the information here and say save and you're done. Well, I want to go to more options. So I'm going to go to more options, which takes you to the same screen you were, were on when you hit new event. So on here, you can add your thing. So I'm going to say vacation. Oops, I can't even spell vacation today. <laughs> okay, vacation. Vacation, yay, look, they put a little nice little tropical tree on there. Well, they don't know where I'm going. I could be going skiing. So then after that, you can put the date. Uh, it's going to be an all-day event because that's the way I like it. All day. There you go. And it's going to be like five days. There you go. Boom, five days right there. All right, so th then it changes it there. So you can add that in there. You can um, also remind me like day before so I'm ready for it. I guess if I forget, I'm going to go on vacation. And then you can put a description in here. But there's a little trick I want to teach you. Um, if you have your own Office 365 calendar, but you also use this, um, this email for work, you might have a group calendar, and I do. So if you want to make sure everybody in the group knows you're going on vacation, then you need to go to the very top and click where the calendar is at the top left and click the little arrow, and then pick the group. Now, everybody in that group that's in this this one group will know you're going on vacation. So it's the same thing, and I'm gonna hit save once we're done. It's gonna say, yes, we're good. You can discard it, you can you know, do a couple of things. There's a lot of things you can mess around in here, but the most important thing is giving it a title, giving it the date, if it's all day or not, and then I would say do a little description if you want, but uh, this is basically the main information you need to put in there. So after you're done doing that, you're gonna hit save, and then it's going to show up on your calendar, as you can see it right here down at the bottom of the screen. And that's how easy it is to put an event on your Office 365 calendar. Like I said, if you're in a group, if you have a group calendar it's shared with this, then you want to make sure you select the group so they know that you're taking that time off or something's going on. So that's all you have to do. Make sure to go to davescomputertips.com. That's where all of our articles are. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel and tell all your friends about it. And thanks for watching.